Hey folks, welcome to episode 80 of this Let's Play series of Shadow Empire. Okay, uh, we're on round 133, so let's get into it. What happened in the history? Nothing much going on on this front as usual. That's because we're not at war. This is Montefel. Now Montefel have actually taken uh, Rochoy Apex. I d you can't. Let me just pause it a sec, and I'll show you. They they've actually taken. In fact, I don't know if you might have to wait a little bit longer. Um, but they they actually take Rochoye Pax itself, or Rochoye, which. Um, so that was our the guys, you know, the neighbours to us that we had non-aggression pack with. And it, that means that I'm going to have to start putting up a front there because I can't afford really to fight. Montefel. I might just I might just end my non-aggression pack with Rishoy Apex and then invade them myself, which means I'm gonna to have to get some troops over that way to in order to be able to do that. Karanon, um look, they seem like they're kind of Well, it's interesting. They're fighting back. You see, we stood firm here and they lost a lot of troops in in that in that counterattack. Um but here, look, they're hitting us up with artillery. This is in yeah, look, this is these Harleys. I knew that we couldn't hold on to St. Martin. And, yeah, they 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 basically they kill quite a lot of our bikes and they're pushing them all back. So I need to get those bikers out of there now. And you'll see that, they're, yeah, they are, they are they are actually starting to form a this sort of diagonal line now, running from northwest to southeast. So, yeah, the, um, I'm, I'm pleased with the AI in this game. It's really, it's really kind of... So there's been points in the game where I've, been, where I've felt like you know my trajectory has been a little bit by the numbers, and you know, and I've not I've made some mistakes, and that's obviously set me back in certain places. But for the most part, I've been like you know this has been kind of by the numbers. But now I'm really getting challenged, and I'm really enjoying it. It's you know it's only taken 80 episodes. <laughs> I've enjoyed it all the way, but this now I'm really getting into the meat of it and starting to see some of the some of the late game text and the and the and the AI is really starting to you know. It's starting to fight back in a big way and I'm enjoying it, it's great. The elections have been held and the Merchant Union, which was the old minority, won the elections with 15% of the vote. Uh, we discovered fuel deposits in Opalmont. We lost a couple of oil uh, wells again. Um, Conquest acquired as a new zone, Motiovia. <laughs> um, leader killed in action, that was the governor of St. Martin. Archie Crestaways was killed in action during the loss of St. Martin. Right, I just got that guy and he was good. So that's a shame. Enemy conquest losses a zone, St. Martin. We've developed how it's a three. So yeah, we got those guns very, very quickly as expected. We've discovered beam guns. Uh, a beam weapon is basically just building a huge laser weapon. It would allow us to overload the defensive capabilities of liquid armor. We discovered a new order of battle, mechanized armored infantry army. And we've researched turbojet engines. So this is gonna enable us to make much better aircraft. And we've discovered a new t a new tech, which is VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing um, turbojet engines. What if a jet engine could rotate to make vertical landing and takeoff possible? So these things don't need air. These these things can land outside of air bases, and they're really useful. Um, Owen Dean Hall is retiring, and we generated stratagems. Okay. So yeah, first thing to note in this in this turn is let's go over to Rochoye. Montefel has actually taken Rochoye. And this is uh this is kind of big news because these guys are our neighbours and well they're gonna have to fall back to Morju. And I think it might be wise for me to invade them actually. Now if let's say that look, you know, let's say Montefel do take these zones here. I've only got a very narrow combat width with them. Uh, sorry, a, a combat front because Good luck getting through these mountains. Seriously, look at them. You know, this is just like thousands of kilometers. This is like the Himalayas, basically. So they're they're not going to get through there, um, not easily. So this would be relatively easy for me to uh, to to defend, and I could launch an invasion from here. So actually, you know, it might be wise for me to end my non-aggression pack now with them with uh, with Rishoye. Selects cancel pack clause. 
So let's go to Goyer. We reduced our strategic pact with Rochoyer. They did not like our unilateral decision. Well, screw them. Because that basically means that now, like, you know... Okay, so they're still friends with us. And we're going to have to... We're going to have to reduce our level. But I, I, I think I think it's wise for me to do this. Because what I could do is... I could I could run in and take Celtris. And, you know, get... And get up front with Montefel. And then, you know... I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take me to fight... Uh, carrying on but it's not going to be over anytime soon i mean this war is this it's 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 grinding on and it's so much fun <laughs> but it's grinding on and i don't think look with the amount of forces we've got at play it's going to be difficult for me to easily to easily encircle them and particularly with you know the situation i talked about here with you know this with these mountainous regions it's going to be quite hard for me to get troops around are we actually getting any are we actually getting any logistics here yet Still not take sent oh we are, but look, it's just a bottleneck, that's the problem. So we're still I mean these guys have just been they've it's just been out of supply the entire time, ever since we got we got our supply cut uh by by Karanon invading us. You just saw how how dangerous that was for us, seriously. It just really messed us up. Anyway. Let's have a look at the VidCom. Oh, I've already done the VidCom, sorry. So what next? What well, next? The next is the decisions. Interior Council set task priorities. I'm going to leave this. Um, tariffs I'm not bothered about now. I'm just going to drop that right down. Um, Taxation is a bit more important. Oops, that's a bit more important. Um, but it's mostly going to be human resources. I might put taxation up to 20 just, just so that we've got some ability to change our taxes if necessary. Staff Council task priorities, pretty much the same, I think. Aye, aye, sir. There we go. Now, Air Force Research Council of Research Objectives. Um, we could go for... I think we're going to go with jet engine efficiency so we can really start working on these on these aircraft, Can't these jet that. engines. So let's go for that. And now we've got the choice of what model to go for. So we've just got a new artillery. Let's just check what that gun was like. Oh, it's three. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's got a really, really strong attack. Um... Soft attack, soft defense is pretty high. Yeah, this is going to be a decent gun. So, get that up there. Put that high quality. Okay. So, um, there are there are various things that we could do. We could create a new tank, or we could start going into aircraft and thinking about you know what what can we what kind of aircraft could we use because i think aircraft might help break this deadlock in in Karanon. certainly in the Karanon area itself because you'll see um this is going to be kind of yeah we have got walkers and things and walkers would make well i mean you know you, you saw how effective our walkers were in you know just attacking these basic troops look even when they're on defense look walkers have got it's saying 10 to 1 odds actually i don't believe those odds that doesn't look good to me but still walkers are pretty strong they're pretty pretty strong especially when you've got a whole whole group of them like these guys look let's get these guys down so yeah once we've got the regiment i think i think these will help us punch a hole and then we can start thinking about taking karen on because if we can take karen on itself things are looking good for us okay um now I have got a lot of machines coming out now, which means that we can probably start building battle dress. Look, for example, in the second SHQ. Um, let's go to race formation. Like, we could make an independent battalion of... Let's go for an independent uh, battalion. But look, so it, it's going to take... How many machines is it? Where are we? 10 machines look just for a battalion for a, so it's, it's 10 machines for 100 soldiers so they take a lot of machines like if we were going to get if we're going to get a regiment look that's going to be uh 36 machines so these things take a hell of a lot of machines i'm going to raise some of those um i think it might be quite well how much how much would be for a division 120 machines that's a lot that's a lot of machines but then, you know, having a, a battle a battle group like that would be pretty impressive. But I don't think I'll do that. Um, I might wait for the jump packs so they're a little bit more effective in in um, in 
attack because having them having them being able to being able to attack as well as defend that'd be pretty useful i think but yeah so not worrying about those for too much for the time being we could increase we could go for zero guns and then we could give them battle dress but again i don't think i need it necessarily um what else could we get there are various things that we've not built yet um You know, I'd quite like to start getting some aircraft up. The only thing is, again, I don't have air, air bases at the moment to stop to really kind of use them. Although I think that what we're building here, I think I started building an air base. Yeah, we started building an air base here at uh, Artificial Biped. The problem is that we, we're just running a little bit low on people. So, and I don't think I can get a very big air base there anyway, just because of the size of the city. So, um, yeah, it's like air stuff's going to be useful. It's just, you know, it's finding a... Finding a place that's large enough for us to actually build an airbase. This could have a level 2 airbase, which means we could have small aircraft. Um, and, you know, you can do work with small aircraft. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... 17, 18, 19, 20. Look, I mean, look, that, this is our best bet for a big air base, I'd, I'd say. We could probably... No, we could probably extend the zone of um, Rorabarez and then bring it out this way. Maybe. That's one thing we could do. And then have an air base kind of on the edge and then we could get some aircraft with like 20 range. That might work. I'd like to get some aircraft, like I say. But it's just, yeah, at the moment, it's just it's just having the air bases to do it, unfortunately. Helicopters might be a better bet. Um, we could probably get some decent helicopter bombers. Like, let's have a look at what we could do here. So if we went for tactical bomber, say. And let's go for this the super heavy rotor engine. And get a decent fuel tank on it. And let's go for... This is air-to-air -air weapons, so we'll probably just go for... We don't really need that much in the way of that. Maybe just get a machine gun. And then... these pro We're probably mostly going to be going for killing troops. So we probably want a bomb hatch. So I don't know, maybe... Let's try that. See how we can... See if that works. Okay, so that would be a 5 hex range. That's not a great deal. Um... Go back to it again. Super heavy rotor engine. Um, we just get a bigger fuel tank on it instead. Let's see if that will take off. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, well, it's not increased the range in any way. Interesting. Maybe try getting a less, a smaller... Try a smaller engine. Let's just go for a heavy instead. Let's try this. It's always worth just experimenting with this just to see what you can get out of it. See, that's actually it's gone up. Look here, so it's not going to be as fast because the engine's not so good. So it's not going to be so good in its, you know, uh, escaping attack or if it's attacked by aircraft. But it's got a longer range. Hmm, interesting. And that would be obviously a bit, a fair bit cheaper as well. 30 IP, 12 metal. That's interesting. Hang on a minute. Why is the cost light, uh, lower here? I'm not sure. I, I can't remember how, quite how this works. But um, 50, 60 total IP, 70 total. Yeah, that's actually more for a heavy rotor engine. I don't know why that is. I forget. I, I can't remember why. It might be because there's more machines in this one. But I mean, if we increase the size of that and maybe increase the fuel tank, that might work. Um, let's just leave. Ah, okay. So on the medium heavy, we can't we can't go any higher than that. So that's six hexes. Hmm. Okay, you get the idea. Anyway, I mean, I, I could make a, a an attack helicopter. That could be cool. 
it's just I mean and that would that would mean that we don't have to worry about the airbase so much although they do like air bases anyway just so that they can to get the maximum amount of readiness out of them but I think actually I might go for a laser a, a laser a laser gun on a tank so if we could go to the dragon 3 and then we could put a, a medium laser gun on and then get 700 total weight that would be Maybe if we go up to 150 and then double diesel Understood. engine. There we go. So we've got a medium tank that can actually, that will be actually useful against, well, uh, the, the lasers are pretty good against soft and hard targets, I believe. Okay, plundering and motiver. Um, get where this one is. This one where we've just taken, I think. This one here. Yeah, we've got plenty of troops. Let's uh, let's use, use the jack boot on this one succeeded minor work striking oasis um let's just give them some money right, here man. oh by the way right um i also want to get rid of micah strutter before i do anything else which i think that's got to be done because I, I just remembered that she's she's actually causing me problems it, it's telling me about her in the look leader issues relationship issues and she's her her dislike of heart is going to be a problem because i need i need to start going down into heart a little bit so I'm, I've got to get rid of her, I think. So I'm going to go. I'm actually going to put the. I've got a Cap Five um, advisor that I'm going to put in that place. So let's go and do that now. I'm, and um, if I give Luna Arrakis, she's actually attached to the Military Research Council, so she's been getting. She'll be getting some experience there anyway. Look, she's got ten science anyway, but she's got eighty nine intelligence. She's like genius. So I want this genius in my in this council. So. Uh, detach her and I'm gonna relieve and I'm gonna give her a better job now let's go to Micah Strutter who is here and I'm gonna relieve you I'm just gonna give you other job I'm gonna have to get some more political points by the way this turn and then um, yeah and then we're gonna next turn we'll be able to put the, uh, we'll be able to swap them over and I'll be able to put them put her into that that council because that's gonna that's gonna really really kick start my military my military research and you know i really want to get these robot soldiers out quick <laughs> and all this all the all the cool stuff that's awaiting like shield generators and you know awesome stuff like that okay minor work striking one stream um let's just Understood. give them credits same again uh, same again Marauders in Barden. Okay, we don't have enough political points here, so let's let's play stratagem card and get some more political points. And I think one of the next things I need to do is actually get the next high command level at, in my SHQ. So, uh, nation, not credits, political points. There we go. I'm glad I got a lot of these cards. Okay, uh, let's have a look at this one. Marauders in Barden. Yeah, let's just success. Okay, good. Um, a point. This is Motivia. Let's put uh, Mike Strutter. Is she going to be any good in there? Yeah, she'll be all right. So let's get her in there. So she's uh, she's not very happy though. Yeah, actually, she's she's uh, that might have been a bad move because she's still not very happy. I wonder if there's anything I can do to help her. No, I think I've pretty much given her all these, all the medals and <laughs> merits and bonuses that she's ever going to get. Where is she? My Relation 30. Um, I might just, I might just, uh, I might just retire her. Yeah, I made a mistake there. I, sh I shouldn't have put her in here. So I think, I don't know. She might, her, might, her, rel her relation might go up. Um, zone city upgrade. Mm, Matriuni. Yeah, go on then. 75 political points. Root head is Rock definitely wants man. to go up, yeah. And spies and Karen on packs found information. Right, so uh Karen on packs. I wanted to get the I always want to get the easiest group to deal with in. So we don't want the corporatists, it'll be the real politicers, so trade faction. There we are. Yes, sir. Get the trade faction in. Then, you know. If it does come to it that we need to uh, make peace with them, well, then that'll be a lot easier for us to do. 
Okay, 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 okay. What we got to do? Um, let's start over on the eastern front. Let's just get some of these, some of these troops down. Let's start moving those down. Uh, those are all good. Those are all good. Those are all good. Um, I'm tempted to invade Robosphere and just to take this territory. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, relations are really low. Let's just do this to take this territory now. Um, can we raise formation here? No, we can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys back now. And we're going to start moving into Robosphere. And I can see if I can get... Um, Let's talk, try and talk to these aliens. Let's get a Xeno diplomat in. More target. Where are they? Regardless. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to get a meeting with those guys next turn. And I've run out of political points again, so I might even have to use another one of those cards. Let's just get these aliens in here. So, um, anywhere else where there is territory by Mont... Uh, by... Robosphere Republic. I'm sure that they were the nemesis, you know, on this game. And they might not have been. It might have been someone else. It might have been Caronon Pax, but um, I, they seem to be the highest ranked nation early on in the game, at least that I could see. Right, this one here. Here we are. Look, we can take this now. So there we go. I wanted to get rid of That was annoying me as well. <laughs> um, and also, I'll be able. If I do invade. If I do invade Rashoye Pax then I'll actually be able to take some of this other territory that they've got kind of close to mine and annoying me, like around here and this. I'll be able to push out from, from there. But that's something I can think about later. So, all right. Let's just go back over this end and see if there's anything that needs to be done. Looks like, yeah, we're just starting to de disassemble these these tanks. Still there. It takes a while. Though. It, takes a few, it does take a few rounds. Let's get these guys out. Sort of up on the border. What have we got here? Are these inf independent mechanized infantry? Uh, we'll just leave those in there. I am going to eventually. I'm going to disband these guys eventually, and get um bring them back into the pool, into the SHQ pool. Okay, let's go back. To, let's go over to the other side of the empire, and. Let's see what's going on with this war. Okay, in Caranon. These guys are going to be well dug in. Um, but there is stuff that we can do. Now that's that's a lot of troops. And five... Yeah, I, I'm not happy with that. I, I think I'll wait for these, these guys to get in. Ah, okay. We found an ambush. Okay, we found an ambush. We can attack in there, though. That's a battle we can win. There we are, look. I'm not going to move in, though. Because they're not going to be very good in, the, uh, in there. But, um, yeah. Just a sneaky little attack on my part. Hmm. I wonder if we can threaten an encirclement around here. I think what's going to happen is now we're going to get cut off, so that's not the best thing to be doing, really. Let's see how this works. We are in defence, so I don't think it's going to work very well. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they definitely needed more backup there. Okay, so these these guys are going to have to get out. Um, I'm probably going to have to. Yeah, that wasn't the best move. They're probably just going to go down here and cut me off. But I mean, if they do, I don't think they've got enough troops because I can just kind of move in. You see, so 
you know, if they, right, if they move down there, then I can just kind of move in here and cut them off. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Could potentially, if, if they've got no one in here, look, I could actually, could actually threaten an encirclement. But again, they'll, they will probably cut me off if I do that. However, I might be able to move in like that. Okay, let's get these a bit closer, the HQ. Yeah, I lost some walkers there. That's, that was uh, probably a bit dumb on my part, but never mind. Um, okay. Tea tile. I think I want to get the, the 25th infantry. Are these guys still on? I had them on uh, all out attack, I think, didn't I? Yeah, they are on all out attack. Yeah, but look, they're, they're not going to do that. So, I think I'll move them. I think I'm just going to get them down this way instead. And I should probably take them off all out attack, to be honest. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I've got some helicopters here, too. Um... I'll leave them there. We might need them. We've got plenty of choppers over this way. Okay, look, they've started. They started building more roads. Let's see if we can take these with those up with those armor. Um. Okay, what are we doing here? I wonder if we can punch through and make get an encirclement in. That would be nice. It wouldn't be nice. It would be great. Great is a better word than nice in this situation. So uh, we are a little bit low on yeah. Hmm. They have got a fairly decent defensive line. Where would I want to do it? I'd probably want to hit here. But they're on no retreat, that's the problem, look. Those are on defense, these guys are on no retreat. Um, I do want to get an encirclement in if I in if, in if I can. The problem is I need then to defend the defend my lines. Okay, um, the second I think I am going to try and face up against these lot here. So, problem is the second aren't that well equipped. They've got Gauss weapons, although they have got lasers uh, in with the machine guns. So. Let's get these guys forming in a line this way. I'm going to get the bikes back. Um, I might get the bikes around this way. Let's get the bikes around this way just so. Get this, this group up there. There we go. So we've got this. We've now got, yeah, I'll probably bring, bikes want to move back, we want to fall back here, I think. Okay, I see what we've got there. Oh, we've got an artillery regiment here. Oh, now, I wonder if we can take one of these cities. This one will be first, I reckon. Hansen, the minor city, and then we've got uh, Reunion Mountain. Hmm. Let's move those in. In fact, let's get those guys around there. Let's bombard. Okay. These are right for the taking, I think. I reckon we can probably, if unless they they might reinforce them uh, next turn. But I think let's see if we can let's see if we can threaten threaten some kind of encirclement. I, I mean, if we could if we could encircle here, this would be great. It's got to be a bit careful about supply. Get those guys down that way. Yeah, let's get the uh, uh, this yellow group this way.
Let's make it look, look very like a, you know an encirclement is is due. Or is imminent is the word I was looking for. Uh, if we can make it look like we've got an imminent encirclement on them, then. Get these guys moved in. Not we're not we're not looking convincing though, are we? However, we have cut off their supply. Let's get these tanks in this way. Let's get these bikes around that, that direction. Attack formation. Oh, they're low on supply. Look, this is good. We're actually cut. We it looks like we are actually cutting them off from their supply lines, um, which is excellent news. So let's get one of these. Let's get one of these guys. Let's just make sure. Are those? Yeah, they, they're still within the HQ range. If we can try and get some fast moving units down this way. Might be able to try. I'm hoping that what will happen is they, they'll either keep fighting and I'll encircle them. Or they'll fall back and they'll concede all this territory. And that gives me uh, Motiva or Motivier. Motivier. All right, let's get this uh, HQ up this direction. I think that's about it on that side. Let's have a look on uh, over here. Let's move those helicopters that direction. Okay, let's have a look at this part now. Um, what are we doing here? Well, we've taken Derby. And we've, we've managed to hold Derby as well, more to the point, which is great. Looks like we're starting to get a little bit of supply in still. I want to try and get an encirclement here. So let's try and get our fast movement. I was trying to get my... Uh, my my arm around this way, but I think I'm going to go back this direction now. Um, this might be a little bit tough to crack. I think with it's difficult to see what to do because we're so low on f uh, on fuel. Um, tank destroyers probably want to be where the tanks are, but we can probably move these this arm around this way and just threaten an encirclement. Yeah, let's try and move move those over this direction. Not very, not looking very good. Yeah, we just uh, the readiness on these troops. Well, the readiness is not too bad, but the morale's low. They're not too bad. They're not so bad. Have we got? Oh yeah, I remember now. We bought some. We got some tank destroyers here. Like, all of these are really out of supply, aren't they? Like really badly. Yeah, really badly out of supply. Okay, what's this? This is tank destroyers. Let's get these tank destroyers moved in. Uh, I'm gonna get this. Gonna try and get these guys round this way. I think they're they're gonna have to extend their combat width this way, which will thin out their lines and provide. I mean, fuel fuel. As long as I've got enough fuel, I should be able to keep moving these tanks around. I mean, I don't. I can do this all day. You know, not not literally all day, but you know, I'm I'm quite happy to keep reorganising my forces if it means that I'm that uh, I'm threat I'm sp spreading them out. At the same time, he can probably sit and watch me do that all day. Let's try and get these guys in this way. Yeah, we've got one more unit here. Look. Yeah, I get, so again, look, we're kind of threatening an encirclement here. Um, these guys are on defence. 
Their morale's not too bad. I think they will, they will hold if they get attacked. Particularly since we've got some howitzers um, backing them up. Get these guys in here too. Let's get... Uh, we've got 500 recons, probably enough there. I'm going to have a look what's over in uh, photo, Photocron. Oh, okay. They have got some uh, flak, but we managed to avoid it. 13th Infantry, they're sat on no retreat. It's an infantry corps. Okay, this is where all the HQs are, look. So they've got their HQs all back here. Oh, we've got another tank destroyer. I bought... I... I I did well getting as many tank destroyers as I've got, I think. It's wise that I did. So, um, they're going to really help us, I think, defend. Because they, they could counterattack quite hard. Um, but they every time they do, they don't seem to do much damage. And that's probably because I'm I'm kind of sat here. I haven't moved a great deal. So, my men are well relatively well entrenched, I think. And they're in defense. So, that does help too. Okay, these guys can move in. Ah, that's a bit of a weak point. Ah. Got assault guns here too. Um, I'm tempted to move this assault gun in here. Like, okay, we can get we can get an encircling attack, but they haven't really got a great deal unless they they really move stuff around. One of these heavy tank battalion. Let's get those guys down there as well. Okay. Okay, this is looking good. I, I think we're starting to make some headway with this. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I'm about happy with that. Oh, these. I need to get these bikes back into. Sure, Apex. I don't know if we can get these into supply. Uh, they, they might just get enough just to just to get food. Okay, um, that's about it, guys. I think um, we are we're not building too much because we are we're still building all these industry. Now, next turn, a whole bunch of industry are going to go up. Like, oh my, that one's like one point one turn. Look, so it might over the next couple of turns we're going to start getting some industry up, and um, we've got more solar panels going up, so we've got more energy. Um, once we've got, once we've got more energy, um, more industrial points, and um, I'm going to start building more of these demetallization places, which will uh, get, get increase our metal output, and then then things are looking things are looking a little bit more satisfactory on the industrial front, I'd say. I might build some more walkers while I've got the opportunity. Can we get some down here? Better can't. No political points again. Eighty-five of them. I, I can get eighty-five there. It's the closest I can get the whole lot. What's the problem here? Um, items is the issue. So, wow, look, two thousand seven hundred. Oh, it's machines. We don't have enough machines. Well, I could probably build some. So, I wonder if I can get them down here. Yeah. There's another independent walker regiment. Right, I've got two independent walker regiments now. Providing they can get enough fuel. <laughs> they're, they're, I'm, I'm hopefully going to be able to use these to, to break this deadlock here at Caranon. And taking, I think taking Caranon is going to be a decent thing. It's a pretty big city. It's a major city, look. And it's going to be, you know, it's their capital, basically. So, if I can take their capital... I'm not sure if that has any effect on their morale. I think that'd be cool if it did. Like, you know, if you took took the your the Empire's capital and it had a really nasty effect on, on enemy morale, that would be so cool. I might move these I might move these choppers up this way. Yep, 
yeah, I don't I don't need to use, do any recon this turn, so I'm not going to waste fuel. But um, so yeah, that's those guys. Don't think I need a whole lot more. If we can colonize some more people down here, that might be helpful though. Yes, sir. There we are. And at some point, by for yeah, I need to upgrade the city. I've got fifteen hundred, and I need uh, twenty five hundred. Yeah, why are we losing people? Are oh, they emigrating out? Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll stop emigrating out once we've once we've got a better security score. I might actually play some of these cards that I've got. What is it? They need security. I think we've got something that we can play to sort that out. Security outpost. Okay, so that's going to boost the quality of life there. There's another one I could play as well. But I, I think I'm going to save my points, actually. I think it's probably wise for me to do that. Okay, fuel's looking okay. Um, go to the second SHQ. Going backwards in, fuel, uh, in food here. Might need to uh, get some more assets to increase the size of... Oh, wow, look. What's going on with Meta Mountain? Okay, so I've I've actually called them this turn, and I've I've dropped. I'm 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 not taking any more troops, uh, building any more recruits in this zone because we don't need them. We've 120,000 troops is probably enough, um, in case war does break out. But I, I mean, honestly, I think that this this side is looking pretty well, pretty well stocked. We probably need more th things like armor, maybe some walkers and stuff. But I just don't think that it's really worth but putting too much money into that. I, mean, I suppose I could. Yeah, it's just the political points now. We can't really do it. We don't have any political points, but. Bureaucratic officers won. Yeah, it's, we're, we're, we're a little bit low on worker points here. I might just put some more. I might just send some more workers. Order so send, send, send all those colonists into workers here because we need, we need more workers. Um, and let's raise, uh, let's construct. That might be worth getting. So, soil demetallization too. Although we're getting quite a lot of, we, get, we are getting quite a lot of that. Maybe industry might be better. How is a little low too. Serpentinization would give us 20, uh, 250. We've got quite a decent industry here already. Uh, let's just start getting some of these basic stuff, these basic things up in this. I think we can probably go for Vidcom as well at the same time. Be sure they can manage that. Um, everything else looks okay. That's, that's one thing that we could pr probably get, maybe soil demetallization, but it's going to take, I think I'll just build what I'm building for the most part. Food is an issue, um, but we I guess hydroponics would be a good way of be, to, uh, sorting that out. But we will need, I think maybe here, look. Perhaps here I might start building, let's get some solar Order panels, so, uh, more solar. Order acknowledged. Okay, that's that. Logistics is looking a little bit better. Um, the, oh, by the way, there is something else that I can start building around here, and that is the high-speed rail. So, I'm, yeah, it, you don't need any different rail. I think it's... I, I don't think you need maglev. You have to lay maglev track. I don't think it's different. I've never used it. I've got to be honest with you. Um, but it might be worth... It might be worth, like, uh, somewhere in the centre of this place... Maybe here, Beatifer. Maybe here if we construct. Here we go, high speed rail station. Yeah, we've got everything we need to build that. That might be a good idea. So let's let's build a high speed rail station here, and then we'll build we'll start building track between here and some of the uh, the cities. Um, there we go. So we've got track going that way, and then we've got we can build some. Tr Oops, that's sealed road. That's not what I want. Rail. Let's get rail down to down to here. Oh, we've already got it down to here. So from here, it'll be down to 
Gigwa will be next, I guess. Okay, we'll do it. We'll go down it this far, as far as Opelmont. And Opelmont would need to build a railhead, so. In fact, we could probably build another high speed station here. I think that's, but that'll be okay. So if we, yeah, we have one here in Opelmont, here in Betafer. And then I'd consider probably building one in Aurora as well, although we're building a normal rail there actually. But I might just I might just get rid of that now. I might cancel that. And get the uh get the high speed rail instead. Or maybe I'll just leave it and then just replace it later. Okay, right, anyway, I'll, I'll ponder that myself. I oh I do need to sell some stuff. That is a that's the thing. Um There's not really a whole lot we can sell. I could probably sell some machines in the second SHQ because we've got loads of those. So 96 each. It's gonna give us 4,000 credits. Okay, at least that's uh, that's kind of fixing our deficit a little bit. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the episode there. So that was the end of episode 80. I hope you enjoyed the series and I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.